I always thought I'd like to have a regenerative farming system, um, a more natural way of doing it and to produce a better food. I love the idea of farming with nature um, to try and create a healthy, vibrant landscape. It makes me feel excited to be able to do that. I've been farming on this farm for 43 years. Um, we've got sheep and grain, and um, we now have our son Casey and his family with us on the farm. And more recently, Casey has um, initiated a cattle enterprise back on the farm. In the last four years, we've been doing some summer cropping using um, sunflowers, a bit of millet, and whatever else we can lay our hands on, basically, yeah. Our first summer crop attempt was into a canola stubble directly after harvesting. Um, very, very unsuccessful. <laughs> um, the next attempt, we decided, well, we will try it in September um, when there's still a bit of ground moisture there, and success. So we've learned from soil biologists that it's important to have green plants growing all year round to keep the soil biology cranking along and to build the resilience of the soil so that we can be more sustainable in the future. Yeah, by summer cropping this paddock, which originally was a very poor stocking paddock, it actually turned into a paddock that can run quite a few sheep at the moment. Yeah, it made all the difference to the paddock because it was pretty unproductive pasture and it um, really sparked up the, the paddock and we doubled or tripled our carrying capacity. Yeah, it really did spark it up. I read a compelling article about the link between overclearing of the land and drought and at that moment I looked around the landscape and we always seem to be looking for rain and I thought that's what's going on here and at that moment I decided that was my purpose and I was going to help nature as much as possible. So yeah we've spent a lot of time fencing off bushlands, creek lines and it's just a lovely place to go now. There's lots of birds and they come out in the paddock and feed on the insects and it stabilises the whole landscape. It's a great way to build a healthy farm ecosystem. We have to be very careful in transitioning to a biological cropping system because you know, when you're excited about doing something, you have, there's a tendency to do a lot quickly. But when you're experimenting, we've learned it's much better to do it on a small scale first because until you've tested it out, you don't really know for sure it's going to work. So what we're trying to achieve is to work productively with nature and it's really linking everything together, the soil health, healthier plants, creating habitat for beneficial organisms. So wherever there's more biodiversity, there's more life. You know, and there's that, that vibrant landscape coming to life. It's just so exciting, just like our garden. There's lots of birds flying around here. <laughs> <laughs>